Hey there guys, uh, just thought I'd do a quick update on the uh, Tyranid project log that I'm doing. Mm, just got home from work and I worked uh, a lot of hours this past few days thanks to the holiday. People just don't want to stay home, don't want to stay healthy, but whatever. So I didn't have enough time to do a log, didn't even have enough time to shave. Um, so. Here's my log at 1 in the morning. Um, got a lot done, I think, in regards to the Tyranids. A lot of them are base coated. Um, I've even started getting a lot of the details done on on the, on the uh, Hormigant. And they're almost done, actually, and ready to be uh, shaded and, and based. So that's a big uh, step. They're the massive horde of the Tyranid part that I had to build and I think I don't I don't remember now it's starting to kind of all blend in together but anyway <clears throat> I'll show you what I got going here's uh here's everything you know I got the hive tyrants the venom throats um all base coated and this is the uh hormigots they're all base coated and I started painting up the details. I even did one as a test model just to see how it would how it would look. I think he actually really came out very well. I'm sorry. With uh, using Army Painter. And I used a darker shade than what uh, Eric used. But I think the darker shade works better. Kind of brings out better details. And um, makes it look a little more mean than what the soft tint did um the red i painted corn red i highlighted it with pure blood red knowing that i was going to be using a darker um shade on them the the skin is necrotic flesh from from army painter <clears throat> i used warp glow warp stone glow i think it is from the new line and moot green as a highlight for the fleshy bits that are under the carapace the horns and the uh, the teeth and the bones and stuff and the talons I painted uh, I started with Rakarth flesh and um, highlighted with straight white knowing that the uh, army painter would kind of shade naturally I think it looks actually really good for and you put a 30 of these together in a horde they're gonna look great um, so I hope Eric kind of and everybody likes the uh, likes what they're seeing with the progress um, it is being a little slow and I always feel guilty when I say that it's being slow because people want their stuff fast and people want their stuff good you know I I, uh, I tend to kind of internalize the painting and almost try to make it my own where I probably shouldn't be doing that um, this weekend on <clears throat> Friday night I was able to stop in at the hobby shop and talk to the older hobby shop I went to and talked to an old buddy of mine who did some uh, commission painting before he gave me some good tips and um, I think the uh, process this week is gonna be a lot quicker now that I know what I'm gonna be doing and know how to not so internalize something and just kind of paint for what the customer needs and not pour my heart into it like I do my own armies so uh this is what ne what's next to get primed uh devour gaunt and i think there's like 36 gene stealers which are going to be primed and base coated this week as well um just because they're going to be a lot easier to paint these are going to be done this week and that's the goal get the the major horde done the stuff that uh, I already got that was painted um, it was upstairs I think it's uh, gonna be last it's just gonna be quick highlights on that um, and the the tyrants and the uh, venom thropes and stuff like that I really want to kind of do a little bit of a better job it's not just gonna be an army painter dip boom done kind of thing so I think uh, now things are gonna be trucking along and it's gonna be good to go so that's that guys it's a quick video quick intro 
Um, if anybody has any tips on how to make better videos with intros and cool music and stuff like that, please let me know. Because I really want to make my channel successful. And the only way to do that is to have people watching it and giving me tips. So, that's it. I'm going to bed. Wish you guys all a good night. This is Jim from Gift of Chaos. Have a good night, guys.